And where have you been? Fee stops in the doorway, tilts her head, and goes, Uh, that's a complicated question. Oh, I'm sure it is. Don't mind me. I'm just out here being more emotionally vulnerable than I ever have with another person in my entire life, and it's a complicated question. Did you have a good night, Fee? I made some choices. I do not regret those choices, but they were not good. And she moves further into the bunk and starts, like, pacing. And she says, on a scale from one to ten, uh, how big of a mistake would it be if, hypothetically, hypothetically, I sent a message to, I suppose she's not officially my girlfriend. Leo sits up a little straighter in the bunk. That doesn't matter. Uh, we'll say my girlfriend for clarity's sake. How bad of an idea would it be if I sent a message to my girlfriend for the first time in months when presumably she's thought I was dead for the whole time, and when I sent that message I was in bed with her husband, who she is separated from, because they have tried to kill each other. Leo's jaw drops open. He goes on like a full facial expression journey as he's thinking through this and processing it. You know, I am not sure whether to be amused or horrified how well-equipped I am to answer questions about regrettable decisions made while you're in bed with someone else. But we're not here to talk about me. You did what? Keep your voice down, please. Thank you. I, hypothetically, may have accidentally acquired the means to get in touch with Sabine. Not while the captain and I were- a after, after the captain and I had uh, engaged in some activities. Back it up, back it up. Who's Sabine? You met her in the nightclub. She tried to cast Vicious Mockery on you. Oh. Oh, oh my god, Fee! Also, again, she is the captain's wife. They're separated. Oh my god, Fee!